Now, uh, as we continue through, um, one of the questions is, is really how did psych, um, psychology develop um, from the 1920s through today? And some major figures kind of bop out at us. Um, psych science actually develops um, in a variety of ways. And probably one of the major figures was a guy by the name of John B. Watson down below here. Uh, John Watson, and he, he among others, was uh, a, a major figure in studying um, what he referred to really as the science of mental life. Uh, he really redefined um, uh, psychology in terms of a scientific, you know, the scientific study of observable behavior, the emphasis on observable. And really, he was the father of behaviorism, um, which we will talk about uh, later. But be, be observable behavior is really the key here. Um, again, you have a student by the name of Rosalie Rayner who uh, popularized and worked with him. And she, uh, what you see over in this top corner up here is the example of Little Albert. Uh, and they demonstrated uh, the uh, conditioning of behavior or in this case conditioning of fear in this little little kid um, in regards to uh, a, a uh, rabbit basically and and so they began to demonstrate really the, the beginning principles of behavioral psychology or behaviorism um, and most people look at uh, his behavior uh, or him as the father of modern day behaviorism. Now we've got a couple, uh, three other figures I want to cover with you real quickly. Um, the first one is Freud and Freud everybody usually uh, um, connects psychology with Freud. You know if you were to say to somebody um, I'm, I'm going to be a psych major um, probably the first question somebody will ask is, you know, have you learned about Freud? Freud defines um, uh, psychology for a lot of people today. The problem is, of course, is that um, Freud really emphasized the ways our unconscious thought processes and our emotional responses to childhood experiences affected us. So his emphasis primarily really was childhood and the impact it has on who we are today. Uh, a lot of people would take issue with that, of course. The, the reaction to Freud was somebody by the name of Skinner, B. of Skinner, and that's this guy up here. And Skinner uh, reacted to the unconscious. And so he went back to some of the roots of behavior and looking at what, what reinforces behavior. Um, and and he developed what we refer to as operant conditioning, and he was another really huge, huge figure in psychology as far as the impact on our thinking and how we do things and so forth. The other person, of course, in at least contemporary psychology is Charles Darwin, which I referred to earlier, and Charl Charlie was one of these guys that um, basically was expert at really um, uh, documenting his information and he has had a huge impact in our looking at for example evolutionary uh, evolutionary psychology uh, I will use this term uh, here to um, uh, be a shorthand for psychology itself it's the psi of the Greek alphabet and that's oftentimes used to betray psychology but he really emphasized the idea that the nature selects certain traits, but nature, of course, is uh, is uh, impersonal. It, it's not guided by any being, and and Darwin was, uh, you know, really kind of pushed away the idea of that. That doesn't mean uh, he didn't necessarily uh, believe that a god existed, but but he put way more emphasis on on. Uh, nature and its impact and, and so forth. The thing that, that Darwin or has had the greatest impact and continues to do so with our biggest question was something that I referred to before of nature 
versus nurture. And it would, that will be something that we will continue to talk about throughout the, the semester because which is it? And ultimately, um, what nature endows, nurture develops. So nature endows something, and, and uh, whether it's intelligence, whether it's uh, innate abilities, whatever it does, and nurture develops it. And that's the key to understand is that it, it um, develops. The key to understand here is that if somebody says, well, is it nature or nurture, ultimately your, question, your answer is it's both. What nature gives us, nurture develops.